So hello and welcome to EU TV. My name is Izzy Laycock and today we'll be discussing Theatre Paradox newest production in the name of the father. And today I'm here with writer and director Patrick Anderson. Do you want to give us a wave? Hello. And I'm joined by Lizzie Martin, who plays Hi. Sister Abigail, and Victoria Giambalvo, who plays Judith. Do you want to give us a wave? Um, in the Name of the Father is a dark comedy set in a convent that tells the story of two sisters. And this play is written and directed by your own fair hand. Can you tell me about how, like, about the creative process behind this and what inspired you to write a play like this right now? So I started writing this a little while ago in January of 2020, which I think feels like a completely different century to the one that we're in right now. And I was always quite uh, curious as to why someone would make that conscious decision? Why would someone live a fairly normal life to uh, living in a life, living a life in, in an institution where you're sacrificing some of your most kind of basic freedoms? Um, and that, I guess, kind of provided the groundwork for the synopsis. And I really wanted to tell a story um, about a woman who makes a conscious decision to live in this institution. Okay, that's really interesting because I feel like all of us can kind of relate to the feeling of being in Cloyston right now, unwillingly probably. Um, so it's really interesting to kind of explore like um, a woman's agency and choosing to be that way. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so obviously we are in a pandemic, speaking of being in Gloucester, um, and everything has to be done socially distanced. So how is the show actually going forward? And what's been like your audition process? Like, what's it been like, your rehearsals, recording process, all of that? So the audition process and the callback process were, were fairly similar to what you would expect in non-COVID times, in the sense that we had the audition, the auditionees read out a monologue, uh, and then we had the callbacks where we did a, a duologue. And I kind of knew what I was looking for in terms of the characterization. But yeah, speaking of the characters, now for Lizzie and Victoria, you play the sisters, Sister Abigail and Judith. Um, what's been your experience like actors as in a purely digital space? Have you found it harder to bounce off each other when you have to do everything virtually? I, I think there was definitely an adjustment to not having your scene partner in the room with you. Um, I think I got really used to um, taking cues from Lizzie and our other castmate Lola's um, voice, getting very accustomed with how they vocalize their characters. Um, I have been one of them, the star. No, you couldn't, because they're uh, balls of gas, but we'll be very close to them very soon if we don't figure- oh, Judith, just popping back to your point about balls of gas, I think the only ball of gas in this particular rocket is you, dear, but yes, of course I can. Aliens in space. Do you think one could enter into the rocket? Good enough, you know, you got to overact to act. And this being an audio play and recording it individually, um, as this is the nature of anything audio, um, but then also it being that we're on the other side of the world to each other, it becomes more of almost like a meditative thing that you're kind of, especially like uh, like Victoria said, her and I kind of went into this weird sensory deprivation chambers, which are where our cupboards with loads of, um, you know, blankets and stuff. Well, I'd certainly in mine, I had like a duvet underneath me and pillows and stuff to make it not so, um, like the acoustics a little bit better. And I would come out after an hour and a half, you know, after recording maybe, and I, the light would stream in and you think, oh, oh my God, I, I wasn't here. I was, I was in the monastery, you know, like I was in, I was in some kind of, I was in an abbey. I was in a Carmelite nun abbey. I was there and I don't know who Victoria is in the flesh. And I don't know who Lola is in real life either. But we've kind of met in these kind of composite characters where I know Victoria as Judith and Lola as Sister Prue and Patrick as Mr. Director. You know, <laughs> like like we just have our, and it's gonna be amazing because, you know, we, we've all formed really close bonds. And I think Lola was the first person to say, look, when we can, when we can all meet up, let's go and actually meet each other for the first time. Well, it sounds like you guys have had like a really amazing experience together. I have one final question for all of you. Um, what are people going to love about this play when they watch it? Um, Well-rounded in the sense that it's a dark comedy, so it's got lots of different layers to it. Um, I kind of see it as being that emoji that sort of has the smile, but a tear kind of like running down the face. <laughs> so a bit like, you know, you know, it's, it deals with some very dark themes, but it kind of smiles 
through laughs through the tears a little bit through the tears i feel like we could all definitely get <laughs> we can all feel that at the moment um but yeah thank you so much for talking to me and thank you guys at home for watching in the name of the father premieres as an autoplay on the 7th of march and tickets become available this weekend so enjoy the trailer i don't understand i never try to understand anything it's called having an open mind Joke for you. We do have Catholics in the States. Oh, God. Do you get it? Not as often as I like. We do live in a convent, remember?